today is the day. Today is the day that I'm actually going to start speaking on YouTube, uh, starting this channel up. So today's subject is going to be the top five things I wish I would have known when I started FTV Girls. Everyone has their own list. This is mine. I hope you enjoy. All right, number one is gonna have to be the creativity. Uh, this is the freedom of flying. This is something that has not been experienced by a lot of other people, not been experienced by a lot of other generations beside us. We have the ability to get in these tiny little cockpits, look right out through them and go fly around. We can see things like explore the trees, the bushes, the clouds. I can fly over the top of my house. It's awesome. I would have never thought that we would have been able to do something like this before. You can see things from a completely different view, from a very, very different perspective. And it is uh, one of the most freeing things in this entire world. It's sad to know, it's sad to know, it's sad to know That we'll become strangers again, strangers again FPV friendship and community. So it just so happens that I'm out here by myself today. Uh, my bestest FPV friend could not make it. He had some things come up at the last minute. Uh, but man, it is awesome to connect with more people than you would around your regular circle. I mean, people acquire friends all sorts of different ways, right? Uh, high school, college, which I have a lot of good friends from that military. Some of my best friends are from the military. Um, and your profession, I mean, your coworkers. FPV is just another way to, uh, to meet people, like-minded people. And I think that's so fun. And that's, that's part of the beauty of it is you have an opportunity to uh, just have this whole brand new dynamic in your life. Some of these people are really, really good. And just like in any other hobby, Sometimes people suck. So I've had been fortunate enough to meet some really, really good people. Um, people that we can balance ideas and share stuff and uh, just kind of discuss the state of where we're at and where we're gonna go and, and uh, plan things to do and hang out with. And it's a lot more fun to come fly with other people. You get to kind of critique and go back and forth and say, hey, have you thought about doing this? And just bounce ideas. So much more fun to build with other people and in a way when you're building or you're struggling with either like a trip trick or a technique or uh, whatever it may be it is nice to know someone else is there either struggling with you and then you guys can both mutually support each other so mark i appreciate you buddy vid iq vid iq yep it actually monitors all your statistics on the youtube channel it gives you some good stuff Yep, you need to do that. He knows the things about the stuff. I know the things about the stuff. <laughs> I know things and I... I know things and I know what it says on my LinkedIn profile. I... <laughs> yeah. See, that's what good friends know I about know each the other. things. <laughs> I fly the drones. Just fly the drones. I don't, I don't know one thing. I know many things. <laughs> I know something about everything. There it is. And a lot about nothing. Boom. <laughs> All right, so number three for my list is time consumption. Um, FPV can be a really quick hobby sometimes to get some flights in. Uh, other times, holy moly, you were gone all day and then you're working on your quads all night and then you're back. Now I'm lucky enough to work every other weekend which means that I have time throughout the day, throughout the week a lot of times, a day or two where I can uh, come out and fly if I don't have anything else to do that day. But for the most part, Time consumption is huge. If you're getting into FPV. <laughs> Plan on dedicating some really solid time. Good news is, after you got everything built, everything is tuned how you want it to, it can be a lot of fun than just small little things, changing off ESCs, props, motors, flight controllers, that sort of thing. Once you're used to the build process, it's really, really easy. But until that point, it's a little rough. That being said, it's all good until you crash. Now, uh, I crash all the time. I think it's really imperative to crash, to learn, and to push yourself. And if you're not pushing yourself, then I don't know. I don't know how much you're really enjoying it. Anyway, I'm about to rip.
on life it makes you think about all the different things that you can do uh, all the different things that you can create I mean I wouldn't even be talking to a camera if it wasn't for FPV uh, seeing some of the amazing filmmakers they are really inspires you to do things that you haven't done before in your life uh, really 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 neat stuff it inspires you to go places that you've never seen uh, maybe with just the intention of exploring or maybe the intention of flying either way it's beautiful. It is so nice to have like a new world opened up to you. Uh, I really, really, really love that about flying drones. And then number five, uh, number five is cost, right? Everyone has a basic idea when they start, they know that it's, it's going to be some upfront cost. It is not the most expensive hobby in the world. It is way cheaper than uh, cars as a hobby, right? It's way cheaper than motorcycles or boats. Um, I've done a lot of hunting. It is cheaper than hunting in a lot of ways. Uh, a lot less early mornings, right? Um, but it does have costs associated. So this was today. Today wasn't a horrible day. I've got in two packs that were just miserable and I left the rest of my props at home. So, three bags of props, uh, two batteries, one of which the balance lead is fried. I'll be taping that up and taking that with me, uh, just so I can fix it. Uh, luckily, no motors, no ESCs at this point, but I'm kind of done for right now. It was a good hour that I got out, and it was a blast. Um, lots of quad retrievals, though. Either way, so those are my five things that I wish I knew when I started this whole FPV process. It's a lot of fun. I enjoy it dearly. It is uh, something that really has become a mainstay in my life. It is a lot of things, a hobby, a lifestyle. It can even be a coping mechanism, so that way you can, uh, I don't know, you kind of look through the past, kind of clear your head out. And that's what I love about it. It is so freeing. In every sense, it is freeing. You get the freedom of flight. You get the freedom of time. You have the freedom to make the choices. Where do you want to go? What do you want to hit? What gap do you want to do? What trick do you want to pull? Um, and then there's always, I think for a lot of us, uh, things are about instant satisfaction. And it is so neat to be able to wire up a board, uh, put the drone together, and then you're flying and you're experiencing it. So it's really, really cool. Anyway, that's going to conclude the first video, the first vlog type video. Um, I hope you enjoy it. That's, that's the kind of idea. I want to create some content that I'm going to feel fulfilled by doing. And I hope that you enjoy watching it. Is there anything that you want to see? Anything different? Let me know. Thanks for, uh, thanks for watching. I see you standing there, a soothing atmosphere Smell of your aftershave, sweet blossom in the rain You flip around